Okay guys, so um, yeah. what you can see on the screen is the, the, the Minty Synth 2.0 oh, yeah. oh, and oh, this is a kit that was produced a few years ago, the idea being of fitting one of these metal mint tins, you know, like this is kind of a benchmark for kit designs, you know, that they make stuff to fit in the tin, um, because I guess then you can put screws and fittings and things on it, you know. Uh, so that was actually what I bought and I played around with it for a while, it's kind of a mini synth sequencer type thing. You can see there it just runs on like a AAA battery and uh, the sound output is just a headphone plug. So I would sit there with a little thing, um, you know, with the headphones in and go, and I thought that was pretty cool. But then I thought, well, you know, I, want, I wanted something a bit more synthy, you know. So this is the Mighty Synth, which is actually the Minty Synth inside. And then wherever there's one of those little thumb wheels, I've replaced it with a nice <coughs> big potentiometer. Wherever there's a little tack switch, I've replaced it with a nice clicky switch. And then the headphone output, I've connected just to a small amp, got a speaker back there. And where there should be a AAA, it's got a D cell battery. So you know, it should go forever without running out of batteries. So I'll fire it up. Okay, so we can hear four little notes coming out. And we can speed it up and slow it down. Okay, so right now we're on that first note. So you can hear, change the pitch. Like that, you know. I can switch over to number two and by clicking. So now, uh, by clicking these, I can change the waveform that's coming out. So that could be, I think, a sine. So it's got a nice little sine wave coming out, you know, that kind of stuff. Uh, you can, you know, do a few sort of other things like this. I think this one is to change the envelope, so you've got kind of a bit more sustain, or it can you know, go back a bit, that kind of stuff. So you sort of, you know, you can listen to that and you think, well, that's, you know, it's kind of cool, but what good is like a four-step synthesizer, you know, a four-step sequencer? But it's not actually a four-step sequencer, it's a four-channel sequencer. And each channel has 16 steps. So what you can do is, you know, you hold down number one here, and so now I'm back on channel one, and I can turn that, you know. Sounds like a game we used to play. Try programming in some better tunes, you know. But, um, yeah, so this is the kind of stuff that you can do, and then you can put it into this sort of um, this, this live mode where then you could be changing some of the you know, speed it up and slow it down. You've got this kind of swing thing, so yeah, it sort of changes the. <laughs> it does, doesn't it? <laughs> it's I was just thinking, it sounds like the, uh, it sounds like the music from a BBC documentary. Yeah, 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 like yeah. It's like someone's coming at you with a... Yeah. Well, it, it is, you know, it's, it's a very, because it's, you know, an 8-bit chip, and so it's just making really low res, you know, so there's a lot of square waves and stuff coming out. Once you've got the perfect pattern you're after, is there any way to save it other yeah, than Yeah, there is. So by holding audio? down combinations of switches, you can save your tune, you know, and then you can bring it back up. So I can, oh, can you like this. Connect it to a PC and then get it. You know, and then it's kind of going to bring up like some different saved ones, you know. Okay. Right. And if I turn it on while holding this one down, it does the demo tune, which is. So this is the sort of thing you can do with it if you're, you're good at music. <laughs> Slow that down, speed it up. That's cool. Yeah. That's four voice quality, isn't it? Cool. Yeah, four voices and 16 steps. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you can be doing. 
Is it from an Arduino as well? I think it's based on an Arduino. Oh, it's not. Okay. Yeah, so it's the um, uh, you know the AT yeah. chip that's in uh, an Arduino. I don't know if it's necessarily Arduino based. compatible. Yeah, yeah, so it doesn't have a USB plug. I think uh, you have okay. to make your own little like serial plug to the program. But it comes pre-programmed in a kit. Yeah. Okay. And so um, the kit was discontinued a few years ago, and they you know sort of just sold out everywhere really. Um, a few months ago, Altronics in Australia did have a few. Um, unfortunately, somebody bought all of them and is just hanging on to them. Except that I know who that somebody is because it was me. Ah. So um, I'm going to be donating the last five minty synth kits to the museum. And then we'll try to work out, we might try to do like a workshop day or something. You know, people could maybe come in and make one or maybe we'll just sell them to people who want to make their own, that sort of thing. But yeah, so there are still five of these kits around. And as far as I know, that's the only place you can get them. So yeah, if you're interested, you know, you can make a little one, put it in your pocket, or you can make okay. a big one. <laughs> um, and and annoy your parents for, for weeks on end. Yeah, and you can, <laughs> you know, put awesome. it on a bookshelf and your kids can drop it on their foot and <laughs> scream that us down. Yeah. Not that I don't know about that, but <laughs> yeah, so, you know, this, this is just like a, it's a little fun thing, but, you know, this is the kind of stuff that, you know, that we do here is just, you know, and anyone can just come in and make whatever they want and then other people can come in and add a bit to it. So yeah, I think that, you know, maybe like I said, some of you guys might be able to fiddle with this later on. So um, yeah, so that's the Mighty Set. That's awesome. Well done, Maurice.